my channel. I feel like I've had a week off. Um, I haven't, I've just been away. I've done quite a lot in these last seven days. I don't know how I've fitted it all in. Um, I have been away in España. My hubby surprised me for our 11th wedding anniversary. I have no idea where those years have gone. I still only feel about 18, uh, but yeah, 11 years. I think that's a bloody achievement, quite frankly, in this day and age. Pat on the back for me and for him. But yeah, all in all, it was a really, really nice trip. So feeling refreshed. Right, I think the elephant in the room is the fact that we are just gonna have to give up on summer. I do genuinely believe I gave it my all with all of these summer hauls. And I think we've just got to succumb to the autumn stock now. Um, I do have a few pieces in this haul which are summer stock. By the way, this is a Peacocks haul. I'm sure you know that because you clicked on the video. But yeah, worth pointing out that there is a few items which I'm gonna show you which have been reduced or are about to be reduced in the summer sale. But the majority of this is actually our first early autumn stock. But to be honest, we can't keep fighting it, can we? The weather is the weather and God has other plans for us. Let's just hope that summer 2024 is an absolute scorcher. Right, ladies. So as you know, this is August's Peacock's Haul. If you're new here and maybe you haven't seen the last three videos, we've just done a supermarket chic off, I suppose you'd call it, comparing Florence and Fred at Tesco, Georgia Asda, and Chew at Sainsbury's. Each video is dedicated to those three big supermarkets in the UK. But yes, if you haven't seen those three, definitely watch those after this. Right, ladies, before I start with this haul, I don't know if you remember, but it does seem such a long time ago that I introduced my collaboration with The Better Beauty Box, which is part of cruelty-free-kitty.com. If you are a cruelty-free buyer, you will have heard of this website. And if you haven't, my goodness, this will change your life. On the other hand, if you are thinking about going cruelty-free or you are conscious of it and you try to buy cruelty-free as and when you can, this website is absolutely incredible. And like I mentioned a few months ago, they have just created this monthly subscription box, which is full of cruelty free goodies. I don't know about you, but I'm actually getting sick and tired of seeing our well-known brands saying that they're now cruelty free. They've been testing on animals for absolutely decades. New brands, new ethoses, people of this generation creating these products. Those are the companies and those are the people that we need to support. But listen, I'm going to show you what's in this box. If you like it, there is a discount code down below or on the screen right now. So July's box. This is worth, I believe, a hundred and nine dollars you get four full priced items and in this one ooh, you get a bonus sixth item for free excited first item or rather items because this comes in a pair shampoo and conditioner bars so what it's doing is getting rid of that one use plastic the packaging is recyclable the shampoo and the conditioner will go on your hair and go down the plug hole so everything here is used and not wasted. I have seen this trend a lot, so I'm really hoping it's not gonna just be a trend and then disappear. Let's get rid of those plastic bottles for good. This is by a brand called High Bar. Moisturizing solid shampoo and conditioner. Gentle formulas delivering soft, silky, and manageable hair. Now, as you know, or if you don't know, you could probably tell, I have a lot of bleach in my hair. My hair is very dry and very brittle. It's certainly not my best feature. So I'm a bit fussy when it comes to shampoos and conditioners. I haven't tried this so I'm not gonna tell you whether this is good or not. But when I do, the best platform for me to tell you is on my Instagram. And if you are not following me on Instagram, please do come over. There's loads of pictures going up, lots of stories, um, links as well to bargain fashion and beauty. Oh, this is rather nifty. It's gonna have a quick look. Why this shape, I ask? You rub the angled side, which is this, onto wet hair, wait a few minutes, and then rinse. Oh, I'm excited about this. These retail at $28 for the pair, so I guess $14 each. It's not cheap, but if it works and it's saving the planet, then I'm all for that. This box looks actually quite cosmetic heavy, which I'm really excited about. This is an all-natural multi-stick. It's by a brand called Han. It's bar month. <laughs> this multi-stick from hand can be used on cheeks, eyes, and lips. Eyes, my goodness. Um, and it's the perfect bar 
be pink. Add a little color to your life without synthetic colorants or other harmful ingredients. This is in the shade Pink Peony. Ladies, that is unreal. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, absolutely a Barbie pink. And it has almost a shimmer. So when you blend it in, very natural. I love my blusher, as you can tell. But actually, it's almost like a tint. Very, very moisturizing. That is fab. And I will absolutely use that. I'm only using my finger for this. Uh, but normally, I use a brush, even with my cream blushes. I just think it's so much better. So that is product number two. Product number three, we have a lip liner. I cannot have enough lip liners. This is by a brand called Eco Bella. It's in terracotta. Now, I can already tell that I absolutely love that colour. It's a very me colour. A beigey pink, not a pinky pink, which is exactly what I love. This retails at $18. Blimineck. That's around about MAC prices, isn't it, for a lip liner? I'll tell you what I've been doing recently. is actually using a lip liner for the whole of my lips. So that's what I've done today. And then I, over the top, I've popped like a little gloss or something. I know it's not groundbreaking, but I've never done that before. And I have just recently started doing it and I like it. So uh, there we go. That's an $18 lip liner uh, by Eco Bella. Now this little beauty, this is a Gleam Beam Lip Oil by Gigi B Beauty. <laughs> Try saying that when you've had a couple. There's three different shades that you could possibly get. Dainty, Glisten and Hover. This is in Glisten. And if I remember rightly, I think I chose a more of a peach color. Oh my goody. Let's just have a moment for that. You couldn't be more my color. Thank you so much. Oh, it's got a big spoolie. Look at that spoolie. I am going to just pop a little bit over the top. You're not going to get full effect, but. Oh, that's lovely. And it's not sticky, ladies. It's just like an oil, because that's what it is. That is unreal. How much is that one worth? $21. It's a hydrating lip oil. You don't really wear it over lipstick, but I've just showed you that you can. Um, jojoba oil, sheer butter, and it moisturizes your dry lips. Really, really happy with that. Right, now we have the bonus sixth item. This month, each subscriber receives a bonus sixth product chosen exclusively from our past best sellers. So potentially, this might be something I've already had before. And it is, boom. This is the best cleanser I have ever, ever tried. The brand is Double Dare. It's called Oh My God Dissolve It Makeup Melt Cleansing Balm. I think I had this either last month or a couple of months ago. It even came on holiday with me. I'm super, super happy with that box. So July's value is 109 plus dollars. And all of those products, lip liner, lip oil, the multi-stick for the cheeks, and, and the shampoo and the conditioner. That is a very, very good box. I do have a code which I'll pop on the screen. It will get you $5 off, I believe, if you want that box. This is great stuff, isn't it, for packing presents. And now we're ready to crack on with August's Peacock's Haul. Let's start with the late summer stock that's gonna be going into the sales. We're gonna start with my favorite, a little two-piece. Now, these are from the summer stock, so these will be going into the sale within the next couple of weeks. As you know, I absolutely love a two-piece. The only way to describe this material is like a jersey material, or rather, a t-shirt material. Is that jersey? I'm not too sure. 16 pounds, these are. I'm assuming these will be half price when the sale hits. Um, I am wearing these in a UK eight, because as you know, peacocks do come up, I would say, one size. So. It's 16 pounds for the culottes, they're in a UK eight, and the top is actually a bardo top, so it can come off the shoulder. This comes in at 12 pounds, reduce that by 50% once the sales come, um, and I'm actually wearing this in a UK 10. This is one of those pieces that you could absolutely dress up, or equally you can wear in the day with some little white sandals, basket bag, super versatile, so keep your eyes open for those in the sales. It does also come in a blue to get these as well. If the green isn't your thing, then maybe the blue is. Beautiful, beautiful cobalt blue. Very, very, very pretty. Again, in a UK eight, the bottoms are 16 pounds. Very soft, very floaty. Cut off trousers or culottes. Almost like pajama bottoms, actually. In fact, if you've already bought this outfit and summer hasn't arrived, wear them as pajamas. Um, and here is the top again in a UK 10 um, and it's 12 pounds. If you wanted to buy either of these outfits now, 
well. It's only £28 for the outfit. I would wait for the sale, which is pending. You're likely to get this outfit for about £14. So definitely worth waiting for those sales. There we go. Super cute little two pieces, those. Right, the next item you may recognise from a previous haul, but in a chocolate brown. This is it in the black. For some reason, this is already reduced. This, to me, could carry through into the autumn. Absolutely. These are stunning, ladies. So if you haven't picked one up already, worth noting, this is down from £30 to £15. They are linen. So it's a linen maxi or mid-axi dress. Off the shoulder, a very elegant, classy piece. I have the chocolate one upstairs in my wardrobe, waiting to be worn. But I wanted to point this one out to you. This could be worn in any season. So take advantage of the fact that it has been reduced down to £15 because that is a lot of dress for £15. That is your LBD, not so little, maybe long black dress. I am wearing it in a UK 8. Um, it was 30 and now it's down to £15. Right, these, or this rather, but it does come in three different colours. Um, these have been on since early summer, so these will be going into the summer sale. Uh, this comes in a fuchsia, which is this one. One. It comes in a black and it also comes in, I guess, a beige or like a nude colour. I've got to be honest, I thought this was going to be a much thinner material, but actually it's quite substantial. This is going to be a slightly cropped jumpsuit, so you're going to see the ankle. But I'm loving this fuchsia pink. I just think it's a real pop of colour. These are £28 still on the website, but they will be coming down. And do not panic. Worth noting, there is a little zip at the front, which comes down to the waist. There's a little pocket here as well and there is a waist belt which is what peacocks are really good at any one piece i.e dress jumpsuit they always tend to provide a little waist belt so 28 pounds i am wearing this in the uk eight and this comes in three different colors Right, let's talk jeans because, as you know, I am not a very confident jean buyer. You know how they give jeans a name? The ones I've had in previous hauls were the Holly jean, slightly wider on the leg. These are called Alexa. I'm going to confuse my Alexa in a minute. They are mid-rise shaper skinny jeans. This with a nice white shirt, something that I'm wearing at the moment, would look really fab. Or, as the weather gets chillier, a nice sweater or jumper of some kind. And even with that gilet, these would look great. So they're £20, which isn't bad is it for a pair of jeans? I mean, if you go to Next right now, you can buy a pair of jeans for £48. That was a couple of months ago. Maybe they've gone up since then. So yeah, £20 for a pair of jeans is not bad, is it? Now, they don't just come in this colour. They also, and I had to get one other colour, come in the cream. I do have the Holly jeans in a cream, but like I said, they did come up a little bit big. Because these are skinny, I think these are going to be spot on. It's definitely that mid-season colour, isn't it? These are going to be so, so versatile. I don't know what this does. I think it maybe makes your bottom look a bit higher. I'm sure there's reason to that design. Um, I don't know if I told you, but I was actually wearing them in an 8 regular. On the Peacock's website, you can choose short, regular, or long in jeans, which is rare. Very, very rare. I'm dead chuffed with both of those pairs. I just need to get myself out of joggers and leggings. I mean, today I'm wearing jeans, but these are so loose. These are soft and they're stretchy, so I'm definitely going to give these a go. This is just fabulous. I love this. This is testament to a really good white short-sleeved shirt. The fabric is absolutely beautiful. A much softer fabric, more floppier fabric than I thought it was going to be. This is perfect if you like a blouse that just covers your lady bits or the bottom of the bottom, if you know what I mean. You know if you know. If I'm wearing leggings or if I'm wearing faux leather trousers, for example, which I will do again in the autumn, this length top is just perfect because it just covers the, you know, the bits. It has a little drawstring around the waist, so you can either have it quite loose if you want, or you can create a silhouette around the waist. £20. I am wearing it in a UK 8. This will come down in the summer sales as well because this has been on for a couple of months. It also does come in a beautiful sage green as well. But I like a white shirt, so this is the one I went for. So £20. It's in a UK 8, and this will be in the sale. Shh. 
surely you remember this dress. This is the only color that I do not own in this dress. And I've got to say, if you haven't seen any of my other previous Peacocks hauls, this dress is an absolute winner. It is a wardrobe staple without a doubt. I don't know how, but it just works. It fits in all the right places. It grips you where you want it to be gripped. It falls where you want it to fall and it doesn't need ironing. So my black one came on holiday with me. It didn't get worn because I was overpack, but it came on holiday with me. And I tell you what, it wouldn't have had a crease in it. This dress comes in a red, a black, a khaki and a black and white which I love as well and I do have that one but this colour I have not got so very very excited to try this on this is £20 at the moment I'm wearing it in a UK 8 and these will be going down in the summer sale if you like something get it now um, and have it for 2024 because apparently it's going to be a scorcher right are we ready for some autumn let's do it uh, let's start with some outerwear oh my gosh this is so soft wow this is brand new in it's the women's stone suede jacket so it's a shirt jacket this is a lot softer than i thought it was going to be 32 pounds this is i got it in a uk 10 drop shoulder slightly with long sleeves um and you've got the cuff as well so you've got the same buttons on the cuff as you do down the front two pockets are they working they are working um, and on the back we've got a nice panel love that panel that's a really really nice feature and you obviously got your collar does it stay up it stays up i love a stiff collar i guess you could wear this on its own with nothing under it or you do wear it as more of a jacket 32 pounds is not bad either is it really as a piece of outerwear so best of both worlds so there we go ladies wearing it in a uk 10 and it is 32 pounds <laughs> I completely forgot to show you my accessory, my one accessory of this haul. Uh, this is new in. I'm loving this camel colour. Neutrals ladies are in. I mean, I know neutrals never go out of fashion, but I think this autumn we are going to be seeing a lot of neutrals and camel will definitely be in there. Loving these contrast straps, but on a kind of laptop bag as this is, that is rather funk-licious. Now, I'm not going to necessarily wear this as a laptop bag. I could wear this as just a bag there's a lot of space in here though a zip and a huge inner pocket so I'm assuming that's where you put your worky stuff notebooks calculator passports all the other fandangly bits then you put your laptop in the back bit and zip that bad boy up and there we have it I like that that is going to be super handy 20 pounds as well ladies which isn't bad I mean I'd pay that for the strap <laughs> This is the only accessory I think that I bought. Actually, talking of accessories, let me just show you something very cheeky. And it is very cheeky. I did the ultimate naughty tourist thing um, and bought a little faux LV. These big boys, such as Louis Vuitton, Prada, Gucci, they need to start making non-leather goods for vegans, for people that don't buy leather. I've waited years. They're just not doing it. There are good fakes and there are bad fakes, but I don't know if you can see how they have lined up the squares from the top flat to this bottom bit here so when it closes it actually is aligned that's a pretty good fake in my opinion how much was it 21.99 euros i have no qualms in telling people that it is not a real bag because i managed to purchase a print that i love without the cruelty so i am absolutely buzzing about that anyway let me know down below ladies if that is something that you do or if you strongly disagree with it <laughs> We're gonna go for another piece of outerwear and we are just, God, we're jumping straight into autumn, aren't we? This is brand new in and it's in this very, very popular khaki color at the moment. But I've got to say, this is quite a muted khaki, which is nice, it's not too green. Um, it's a long line gilet. You've always got to look at the zip and the quality of the zip. Um, this is a good zip. I'm wearing this in a UK 8. It's 38 pounds. It has a hood, which is good because we're gonna need that hood and it is padded with, check this out, recycled wadding. So the wadding is what gives it that sponginess, I suppose you'd call it. So it's the filling. You cannot go wrong with a gilet. Love a gilet. It's one of those items that keeps your body warm but allows your arms to be free. And as a mum and as a dog owner, a gilet is just an absolute godsend, honestly. The practicalities aside, this is a very stylish looking long line gilet. I am in love. Well, it actually fits nicely in a UK 8, but I think as the weather gets a bit colder and 
you're wearing a thicker jumper, I think potentially the 10 would have probably been better. So there we go, ladies. I am wearing that in a UK 8. It's 38 pounds and it is brand new in. You're actually gonna be very surprised with me in this haul because I don't think there's any more dresses to come. I think the two I showed you earlier were the only two in this haul. And I've had a couple of comments to say, I'm not really a dress wearer. Can you do more tops or trousers? Well, this is the haul for you, I can tell you. Uh, this is a beautiful polka dot blouse. This is brand new in and it's brand new in, but it's only 18 pounds. I was really shocked by that price. I'm wearing it in the UK eight. It looks like an oversized blouse. So not only could this be a work blouse but you could absolutely wear this over some black skinny jeans or black faux leather trousers in the autumn or even a skirt this comes in two different colorways so it also comes in a cream with a black dot this believe it or not is black with almost a pale salmon dot um, and then you've got this lovely detail at the front so it looks as if you've got a color-coded scarf that you've tied perfectly just in between your boobers and a nice deep V so I just generally think that that is absolutely fab and you can either wear it loose ladies or you could absolutely tuck that into maybe some high-waisted trousers. 18 pounds, I'm wearing that in a UK 8 and it does come in one other colour. Got a little bit of sparkle here. When I first saw this jumper, I thought it's a bit early, isn't it, to be looking at Christmas jumpers? But actually, it, there's just something quite nice about this. Plain but pretty, if you know what I mean. This is their kind of gold foil print jumper. Now, I don't know if it's supposed to be an animal print or whether it is just a pattern and we're not to read into it. Now, I'm actually wearing this in a small. I probably should have got the medium, but I don't know actually. Maybe it's supposed to be a smaller jumper. The model on the website is actually wearing it tucked in to some trousers so potentially it's more of a smart sweater as opposed to a jumper 18 pounds this is which I don't think is a bad price at all brand new in it is so soft I can't reiterate how soft it is and um, the pattern doesn't reach over onto the back it's just on the front ah, it looks oh my goodness it's actually a fleece material inside so my goodness that is gonna be so so soft to wear so not only is it soft on the outside it's super soft inside as well a real chill out lounge piece but with a bit of va va vum so yeah I like that um, so I'm wearing it in a UK small which is an 8 to 10 um, and it is 18 pounds these have got to be one of my favourite pieces in this haul. I don't own a pair of cargo, I think they're cargo parachute trousers. And I'm not too sure how they're going to look on me. They, I might look quite short and dumpy in these, but who cares when they're super chilled and you can just bum about in me. These are actually not from the Peacocks brand. They are from Brave Soul. And as you know, Peacocks do stock quite a lot of Brave Soul. I've actually done quite well with Brave Soul stuff. And it's good stuff it's good quality good materials and, and well made as well so these come in at 25 pounds i am wearing these in the uk 8 i went along the same kind of sizing as peacocks my husband seems to think i look like i should be in little mix most of the time so he's going to love these <laughs> These are so little mix. A few details to point out. There is the most unusual little pulley system around the waist. So this tightens up either side. I don't know if that's just a detail or whether that actually is going to make the waist tighter. I'm not sure. But then come down to the bottom of the legs and you've got another one here. I think you're supposed to tighten these and this is what gives the kind of parachute. Ah, okay. Sometimes, honestly, you've just got to say it out loud and then it becomes very clear this is your parachute leg so I don't know how that's going to look all but they're a casual relaxed quite hip quite trendy pair of trousers and for 25 pounds not a bad price at all so there we go brave soul UK 8 and they're 25 pounds we have another blouse brand new in and this style comes in two different colorways I have bought both of them the other one I'll show you a little bit later what a fab geo print and as you know geo prints have been in for quite a few months but this I don't know this is just something else to me love it it might not be super clear but this is a smoky bluey gray but I love the pattern it's different it's quirky it's fun 
tuck this into some cream jeans, potentially these jeans here, like so, a little belt, a crossbody bag, or wear it for work. Wear it with some nice high-waisted, navy tailored trousers. I just think it's fab. And again, this non-iron material that they love at Peacocks is always going to be my friend. I'm wearing it in a size 10 and it's 18 pounds, like the other one actually. Yeah, 18 pounds. So that's obviously a kind of standard price for their blouses. I'm actually thinking as well, dark blue or navy blue jeans. That would look really nice with and maybe a cream belt with a gold buckle with gold jewelry. Oh yeah, you could really play with this blouse. Oh, worth pointing out, it has concealed buttons. So they are not on show like a normal blouse. It has a panel over the top. Lovely little feature that. So there we go, ladies. Uh, size 10, 18 pounds, and that is brand new in. Let's have a wee pop of color. This jumper, I have honestly had in my basket in the white for the last two Peacocks hauls. Um, it's actually a Louise Redknapp jumper, I believe. And I never really bit the bullet with the white one because I do have quite a lot of white sweaters, but it always looked like it was super floppy, relaxed, just chilled out, blah, blah, blah. So I picked it up in the pink for this haul. I got this in a medium, so I got it in a 10 to 12 because of the slubby loungewear type vibe it gives. It has a bat wing sleeve, which kind of goes along with that kind of loungy, chilled out vibe, but it's almost like a knitted material. It's really, really nice. And um, the color is super bright. So this is a fuchsia pink. This comes in at 20 pounds. So obviously if it does go into the sale, you're probably gonna get 50% off at least. And worth noting, it comes in a black as well as the white. So it comes in three different colors. I think that's fab. There's no way you're gonna feel miserable if you put that on in the morning, is there? I love it. And um, worth noting as well at the bottom, it kind of curls up. You know that material that just doesn't have a hem? It just curls up, which is quite cute as well. Uh, so there we go, ladies. I'm wearing it in a medium which is a 10 to 12. It is 20 pounds, it's not new in, it might be in the sale and it comes in three different colors. Right, we have a pair of Louise Redknapp's trousers. This is another piece that I've had in my wish list that I didn't quite bite the bullet with, purely because I'm just a bit fussy with trousers, as I'm sure you've gathered by now. I've got them in a UK eight, so I've kept them as small as I can. She's wearing them with actually the white version of this. So actually, maybe I'm gonna style it up with the pink version. And they're almost tailored. So I think they're tapered and tailored and cargo trousers. So there's a lot going on. And it's also got a little bit of a paper bag waist at the back, i.e. it is elasticated and it's gathered, uh, which is nice. I, I do like that feature. Love the single button and then the concealed zip. You've got these two pockets here, which gives it that cargo vibe. And then it's turned up at the bottom, which gives it that tailored vibe. These trousers definitely need that heel at the bottom of them. I thought I'd pick those up and I really hope that they look okay. Um, I am wearing them in a UK eight and they are 25 pounds. These have been in for about a month. I don't think they're gonna go down in the sale because they're absolutely perfect for autumn stock so 25 pounds to the lady in white right ladies this is a little white cap sleeve top now on the website it's considered as a white textured t-shirt which i suppose is like a t-shirt however you've got these quite wide sleeves this does also come in a really lovely blue but i picked it up in the white because as you know i like my white 16 pounds and I'm wearing in a UK 10. Again, just super cash, jeans, high-waisted jeggings. It's just a nice take on like a normal basic t-shirt. I don't know if you can see, but it's very textured. It's almost like waffle material and I bet it doesn't crease as well. So there we go, 16 pounds. I'm wearing it in a UK 10 and it does come in a blue as well. Well, this is something completely different. A real homage to uh, the nautical stripe, but the color blue is absolutely stunning and so soft. I mean, I don't know if you can see the stretch on that, so that's gonna be great for my monkey arms. I did actually get this in a UK 10. It's 16 pounds. I don't think this comes in any other colors. Nice long arms with a little bit of a ribbed cuff there. You've got the same ribbing at the bottom at the hem of it as well. Wear it with some jeans, uh, blue jeans, black jeans, jeans, little cut off capris, something like that. I think that's a really nice vibe. So I'm wearing it in a UK 10 and it's 16 pounds. 
We've got a little skirt. I think this might be the first skirt of this haul. I think it is. You cannot go wrong with a satin midi skirt because believe it or not, these look fab with pumps. Pumps and a little t-shirt tucked in and a little faux leather jacket for the autumn winter. But equally, and you know me, I'll have to stick a pair of heels with it. And then potentially a nice little blouse. So one of the blouses from earlier, tucked in with a little belt, some nice killer heels. You could really have fun with this piece. Um, I'm wearing it in UK 8 because the other one I have is UK 8 and it fits. You could also wear a nice jumper with it as well. Think a little bit outside the box with these. It does have a little bit of stretch as well, so that's worth noting. It does have stretch around the waist, which is a nice detail. So £20 for that. I don't think that's going to be in the sale. But definitely worth keeping your eyes open. So this blouse, ladies, is the other one to the geoprint from earlier. You remember me saying that it comes in two different patterns. This is the other pattern. The model looks fab in this um, on the website. I think she's got it done up to the neck as well. Yep, she's got it really done up. Looks like she's wearing some similar black tailored trousers to the ones I showed you. So maybe I'll style this up with those. Anyway, 18 pounds, exactly the same price as the geoprint blouse as well. It comes in all sizes, eight to 24, I believe. As with the other one as well, it does have the concealed buttons, which I do think is a really nice touch that. It just makes it look much smarter, much more tailored. And you do have the wrist cuffs as well with the little black button there. So there we go, ladies, 18 pounds, as was the other one in a size 10, as was the other one. Another blouse, or is it a blouse or is it a top? I think this is more of a top because it doesn't have the buttons. This is so, so pretty, ladies, and very, very different to any of the other tops that we've seen. Firstly, it has elasticated cuffs. So that's a nice little touch. You can pull it up and you can create more of a balloon sleeve. Then you also have this elasticated high neck as well, which could be a vibe. Tucked into some high-waisted black trousers. A really different vibe, this, without a doubt. Two little buttons on the back just to keep it up. But you do have a little pokey hole there, a peepee hole there. But I think the pattern is beautiful and such a bright cobalt blue flower just dotted all over. So, so pretty. This is brand new in literally two days ago. 18 pounds, so the cost of um, a peacock's blouse, it seems. And I am wearing this in a UK eight. So be interesting to see the difference between the eight and the 10. 18 pounds, I'm wearing this in a UK eight and it is brand new in. To end on a Louise Redknapp piece, um, and this is very different to the other blouses and tops that we've seen because it's cropped and it's finished for you. You don't need to tuck it in, it's got a little tie at the front, which is lovely. There's something quite 80s about this. Can you see that as well? I don't know. It almost needs shoulder pads in a way. Anyway, um, this is 20 pounds. This, I believe, is new in. I'm wearing it in a UK 10, three-quarter length sleeves with elasticated, elasticated around the cup, or rather probably about here and it is a deep V so you're gonna have plenty of skin showing the pattern's quite in your face isn't it I think it's actually considered an abstract print so yeah I would absolutely agree with that you do have these color coded buttons i.e. the buttons are wrapped in the material of the blouse and I would say this is probably viscose is that the first time I've used the word viscose in this haul times are changing yes it is a hundred percent viscose I really love this and again maybe the skirt that could be a really nice little outfit and it almost lends itself to it um, with some killer black heels or killer cream heels anything killer really <laughs> that was the very last item that was quite a big one was it not I feel like it was quite a big one maybe it's because we did the better beauty box at the very beginning um, if you have enjoyed my video please do give it a thumbs up that really really does help me and if you have not yet subscribed yet please do write down on that subscribe button we reached 20,000 subscribers was it about a week ago two weeks ago I didn't really mention it I didn't really do what I normally do which was get a giant helium balloon and celebrate to myself in the studio but I'm absolutely buzzing without you ladies honestly I wouldn't be able able to grow this channel and I love doing it so please do continue to support it. Next week ladies you will be excited I hope to know that we are doing our second haul for high street outlet clothing. It was super popular video last time and lots of you used my code um, and got yourself some free jewellery. It will be the same offer this time round as well. Who doesn't want a free piece of jewellery eh? That is coming on Friday so keep your eyes peeled for that. Have a lovely evening um, stay safe and I will see you on the flip side Bye.